Have you seen one of these on a second floor? Imagine having one of these hidden away on the top floor. No one would ever know. Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today I'm so excited to show you the Newstead. The Newstead is a fabulous show home by Davidson Homes, as you can see behind me. So this is a five bedroom, three bathroom property. It is a house type, like I said, by Davidson Homes. We are located right now in the northwest of Leicester, which is in the Midlands, which is in the UK. The size of this house type is actually close to 2,274 square feet. And if you're looking for pricing information, that you can get by clicking on the link in our description, which will give you the most up-to-date pricing by the developer. If all of that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned and we'll tour the whole thing together. All right, let's go inside our Newstead. So front door, as you can see, fabulous traditional details on the outside. You've got the fan light, the little porch, and a navy blue door with these really, really beautiful polished brass, brass slash gold kind of details. And now come inside and let me close the door. Woo! So it is a chilly day, hence why I've got the coat over. I'm gonna go straight into the tour. We've got obviously this gorgeous uh, door, blue on the outside, white on the inside, really nice with a color palette. You've still got those like polished brass fixtures, which I love the fan light bringing in the light in here. But let's show you the most important room, I guess, in the hallway. It's the clock and the clock is just so easily situated right opposite the front door and it's making the most of the space under the stairs and it's a convenient time for me to take my coat off, put it there and let's start off the, the tour in full now. So that's the cloak. <clears throat> in the hallway, we've got our beautiful flooring. It's done in this plank formation. I think it's actually a ceramic tile, super versatile, great for like, you know, maintenance because it is a tile with a wood grain effect on it. You've got this spacious, spacious entrance. Like the actual span of it is greater than 1.5. I love the color palette, but again, we're trying not to get distracted by the decor too much. We'll show you more of the hallway in a second. Now let's show you the first room on the floor, and that is gonna be this lounge. I absolutely love the fact that there's two double doors. Let me just show them to you really quickly. And this is just such a dramatic way to come into this space. Double doors opening wide into your main formal lounge. We've got large windows facing the front of your garden so you can see whoever's pulling up outside your house, parking or just kind of, you can just watch kind of the street from here and I love that. And did I mention they were large? Yes, I did. The casement windows, so the whole of the top bit opens up, just floods this whole space with light. You've got your main focal point over there and Guys, unfortunately, this would be an upgrade or probably an extra that you'd have to do yourself. But doesn't it just show you the how much space you've got in this lounge itself? You've got a focal point with a TV. If you're not a TV watcher, obviously artwork can go on that wall. And then you've got the framing around and storage. It's just so large as well. And then artwork either side. Everything in the space is kind of oversized. So you've got this giant lamp, which is almost as tall as me. It kind of helps with looking at proportions as well, just so you know kind of how big this room is. We've got another option there for a focal point, a mirror. I like the way they've put the console there. But again, width-wise and length-wise, a rectangular room's always a fantastic uh, shape to have as your formal lounge. And in this case, you've got a dual aspect. You've got these double doors which open out to your rear garden, which we'll show you later, just bear with us. And yeah, in terms of rooms, I love the proportions of this. And let's go back into the hallway. As you can see the hallway, on our left, we've got the staircase, which winds all the way to the second floor. Stay tuned for that. We've got the cloak that we showed you earlier. And then we've got this room over here. This room is a perfectly sized study, or maybe you might want it to be like a downstairs, a spare bedroom, a playroom for the children, an office. Again, this is this bespoke carpentry gives you an idea of what you could do with the space. 
I love the fact that it's right off the front of the house again. So it's in a prime location to put whatever you want here. It could be another snug, a homework area for those naughty kids. <laughs> whatever you want it to be. Large windows again, so they haven't reduced the size. They've gone with the same size windows in the main lounge. And then this is pretty cool. And I love this um, quirky factor of Davidson Homes, which is they show you um, a bit about the building itself. So you learn about construction. There's a lot of people who make comments about new builds and how shoddy the construction is or how, you know, um, secretive the developers can be, but not in this case. You actually have a window into the, the, the home itself to see what's behind the walls. And I love that about Davidson's um, homes. So let's go to this room. So this is our downstairs toilet powder room. Again, the flooring just continues all the way in. It is a bit moody in here because it's been staged with these dimmed bulbs. But again, you could have whatever you want in here. Um, you've got a two piece suite with a radiator and half height tiling done on this. Again, so it says the extras in this room are light fittings, chrome sockets and switches, half height wall tiling. So when you buy this house, you would have the option to upgrade to this tiling. Otherwise, you'd probably just get a little splashback tile and um, a pendant light. So yeah, that's basically the downstairs toilet. Let's keep moving, guys. And now let me show you the space that you might have peeked a little glimpse of earlier. This is the open plan dining, living, kitchen area. Proportions wise, let me just walk to the back of this space. How many steps is that? Six or seven, and now we're at the back. Incredible and absolutely beautifully staged. Staging is really important because it just shows you how you can use the space and also the capacity of the space. So here, knowing that one, two, three, four, five, six, eight chairs, an eight seater could easily fit in here. You know, if you have a big family, you've got no problem fitting in the furniture when you move in. So if you just notice something, if you just look up really quickly, wow, did you spot that chandelier in that double high space? incredible and the reason why this space is just so bright as well is because of the window at the top but then also they've got this splayed bay window at the bottom here so you've got a view of the side of the property as well you got kind of views all the way around which i really like because i'm a nosy person <laughs> so anyway that's the dining area that flows beautifully into this area You've got a nice credenza here, artwork here. Again, you could have a larger sofa if you really wanted to. Another kind of signature Davidson's Homes kind of window there as well, casement. So nice and practical and modern. And then this absolutely beautiful worktop, which is just like such a eye-catching feature in itself. It's got four seats, but you can see they're spaced apart quite gen generously. Again, I probably could make that six. You know, with me, I'm always looking to maximize. It's got a kind of an oversailing edge on the top and it's like a bit beveled worktop. The worktop just feels of great quality. These are the types of specifications that are available to you, obviously. You have to discuss that with the developer. But again, you've got the kitchen with the spotlights, creates kind of like a really, really nice ambiance. You've got your integrated kitchen units by AEG, storage, and then you've got worktop, and then it's mimicked over here by the cooking area. And then the splash black, the splash, the splash back is also of the same material. That just screams quality. And then I've also caught not only the splashback is the same material, also the upstands. Lovely detail, guys. Absolutely lovely. You've got your banker sockets there so you can turn off your appliances easily. Um, and then you've got your extract fan, which is in the same style, that modern style. All the uh, cupboard doors are in this matte grey with this kind of rose gold coppery handle. All of these are selections and options. And then your fridge freezer is here in a 70-30 arrangement. I think this is fantastic, guys. Again, cutlery drawer under there, electric by AEG. And then there's more on the other side. So let me show you that really quickly. Temperature controlled 
wine fridge over here. Isn't that just so fancy? And then your sink in a one and a half bowl here with a beautiful stainless steel. Well, actually it looks like a polished chrome tap. A lot of space under there for your storage of your cleaning products. And then dishwasher here by Zanussi. And then more storage here as well. I love that. So in terms of the kitchen, I would like to know in the comments below what you think so far of this space and where it sits in terms of kitchens that we have shown on our channel so far. But, 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 but we're not done yet. So beautifully kind of positioned is obviously these bifolding doors, aluminium might I add as well, leading off the kitchen straight into this paved area at the back. I absolutely love that and we will definitely be showing you more of that so stay tuned for us to kind of show you that um, in full because we always get the comments that we can't show the gardens. We're going to show you the full garden so you're going to get that experience. Let me show you the garden. So happy to have access to show you this absolute gorgeous garden. You've got your formal lounge there if you can remember. The double doors open straight into this paved area and then you've got, I'm going to show you in a second, this absolutely fantastic paved area here. There's obvious staging such as the pergola, the landscaping and these uh, railway sleeper kind of wood uh, chunks in the middle which would be upgrades but it's nice to see what you can do with the space. You've got lawn here and then like I said the paved area goes into the lawn and I just love the way they've created a very intimate moment here with the fairy lights and um, yeah it's a substantial size it's wide and shall I walk over the lawn you can see the wall in this case is solid brick and it curves round and then it starts becoming timber towards the side if you were to buy this off plan this house type you would get the paving slabs and then you'd get the lawn as well and then obviously you've got your proximity right next to your garage as well so it's really easy access for getting like lawnmowers and that kind of equipment things like your tap which you can spot one over there by the wall or electric um, outlets as well you can ask to have those upgraded and then you've got your lights here all of these are things that you tend to discuss with a developer and they'll just tell you how much it would cost you just tell them how many you'd like so that is essentially the garden tour guys and just coming off the kitchen space is another room here inside here is the utility guys so the utility room as you can see it's such a nice addition it's a nice place obviously you've got your uh, laundry machines in here and then the worktop again and then it's got this cool angled wall the boilers here silently humming away and then you've got your consumer unit with a fuse box your alarm system thermostats all that stuff you can close it away so when the washing machine is on it's all quiet in this open plan space which i love so let's keep going and let's head back to the main space and then go upstairs so up the carpeted treads if you can keep up with me Okay, now we're on the first floor. Let's show you what's on the first floor, shall we? <laughs> the first room through this mystery door is a storage cupboard. It's got your, your um, hot water storage unit and ample storage. Did you see the shelving there as well? That's really helpful. And I love the fact that it's actually quite a deep size, so it's quite practical. The first room is this gorgeous double bedroom. Again, I always make a call and say whether these are double beds or king size beds to me because I have a king size bed. I'm blessed with a king size bed at home. So this looks like it would actually be a double <laughs> plot twist. Anyway, let's look behind. Let's look past the amazing um, staging here, the amazing headboard. Well done, whoever staged this. But let's look at what we're actually getting here. We're getting a double bed with a large bed frame. That's why it's a bit deceptive. It's large bed frame, bed sides either side, and there's still space either side. So you know you're not squashed. So that already ticks the box. We're probably looking for wardrobe space. Well, 
that's probably where it's going to be. It's going to be where the desk is going to be. You're going to have full height wardrobe space all the way over there. Let me skew it over just to show you really quickly. So from here all the way to here, you wouldn't have this decor there. You'd have the wardrobe space going here. And you've got more than enough space for that. You've got a window face in the front of the property and that completes that room. So let's go to the next room. This is the next room, another beautifully staged bedroom, double bed, king size, it's up to you. They're really, really similar in proportion. But you know why they look deceptive? Because this is number one, not a small double, so they're not trying to do any visual tricks, but it's also staged so big, like the furnishings, the beddings are very large. So you know that we're not pinched for space. Again, I like to look, can I fit a bedside and am I really tight? You know, am I really enclosed? No to both. In this case, you've got a space for a bench at the end and you've still got like another meter at the end of the bed. You've also got fitted wardrobes, which is gonna be an upgrade most likely, but look how stunning that is. And there's a space recessed in the wall for you to do that. So when you do buy this house type, you'll just have the space. It'll be up to you whether you want to put a standard, standalone wardrobe or you want to go with something like this, which is absolutely fantastic. Radiator, window looking over the back and your garage, and your garden. And let's keep moving. So next room is the family bathroom. It's got the large window again. Remember, there's symmetry going on on the outside of the house. So we have the Davidson's Homes style window at the front of the house, but it's all completely obscure. So there's no issues with privacy. Great for ventilation. You've got your bathtub there with a handheld device, which is great for little children and pets. And then you've got your half height tiling. I love that. Um, there's a, a chrome towel rail as well, which I like as an alternative to a radiator. And then the toilet is over here. It's a very unique layout actually. And because the door opens this way, there's a bit more privacy when you're on the toilet. I quite like that. That's a, that's a to me kind of quirk. So again, in terms of sizing, we've got a four piece suite because we've also got, as you can see, a shower here, nicely placed. It's a hands grow shower with a handheld device. And it's really nice to have a four piece suite family bathroom where you've got a shower and a bathtub. And then let's look over here. This is yet another bedroom. Again, it's similar to the other room. So you, you know, the bedrooms are a similar size, which means you're gonna have less issues when it comes to picking bedrooms with your children or with your guests. So you've got a large bed here. At the very minimum, it's a double. The window again facing the front of the property radiator here, bedside tables, and then the recessed space here for your wardrobes. Fabulous. And that is it in this room, but that's not it for this floor because you also have this amazing, in, in fact, let me just, I'm not gonna say too much what this is. You'll figure it out in a second. As you're figuring out what we're heading towards, you get this amazing bridge which connects you with the downstairs uh, dining area. You've got a window right in front of you rather than a flat blank um, wall so you can see outside. And you've got these two frosted panes as well. So that's interesting. What is in here, you ask? Well, <laughs> let me just show you what this is. This is a fantastic primary suite. I want to say not primary bedroom, it's a primary suite. It's a super king bed. I, I think in future, Brian, we need to have something to show the scale because the camera distorts it. This is a super king. I'm five foot one, guys, and the pillows have spaces between them and they're large pillows. The headboard itself is almost as tall as me. Super king bed, large bedside tables, and then a window and another window facing the back. Uh, garden. You've got wall-to-wall -wall storage as well. Again, this will probably not, this, not probably, this will be an upgrade, guys. So you've got wall-to-wall -wall storage. Sorry, I can't fully open it this way because I don't live here. You see, it's a show home. So do you want to see what I'm seeing? Let's go into our wall-to-wall -wall storage. It is a full walk-in wardrobe, which I love the fact that you can just hide that away. 
I love that. It's got a little dressing area, but you know if it was me, this would be full of rails, shoe storage. You can do it however you want, but it's definitely a generous size. The fact that I can walk into this space says a lot and what a lovely surprise that is isn't it so let's go off that space into what i believe is such a beautiful beautiful ensuite three-piece suite you've got your toilet sink and modern shower modern shower because it's very large it's very kind of middle minimal and this glass screen it's just fantastic. Rather than having kind of like the little hinged doors or the squeaking sliding doors, beautiful hand scrub shower there. And then you step up into the space. It's fully tiled. You've got your towel rail and then you've got your window uh, with ventilation. And as you can see, they're very transparent. So the extras in this room is the heated towel rail uh, radiator versus just your regular white radiators, blinds, I mean, you'd probably expect those to be extras anyway, wouldn't you? The flooring, okay, so they've upgraded the flooring and then the soft furnishings like, you know, the little things that make it feel nice and cozy. But guys, that is just so beautiful. I'm looking at it now and I'm just, I can't get over how stunning this space is. And then the frosted windows, they make complete sense now. This is a very kind of calm, relaxing space that you want privacy for. So let's head back to the main landing. And if you can keep up with me, we're gonna head up to the second floor. Now we are on the second floor and what a second floor this is. This is just so groovy, guys. This is so different and so unique. Kudos to Davidson's for doing something so different. This is a moment in itself. So whatever you wanna make of the space is whatever you want. It's beautifully lit by these um, Velux roof lights there. One there, and here we've actually got a dormer window. So it's a full vertical window that you can open. Then, let me just get straight to the point. Have you seen one of these on a second floor? Imagine having one of these hidden away on the top floor. No one would ever know. This is just an idea of what you can do. So basically, this is your entertainment or your chill down area, a bar. <laughs> I just absolutely love it. And I'm actually speechless. This bar obviously doesn't come with the house, the standard house type, but it gives you such an idea of what you can do. You can do a snug here. We've seen so many different options, but let's go with the bar option. So you come up to the top floor, so let's say this is a family, you use this as a family home. This would be your parents, you know, the parents' space. They can wind down after a busy day at work in this area, have a couple of armchairs, as you can see there, catch up with, you know, the day. And then you've got the ensuite off here because it is completely practical. So you've got an ensuite to this floor as well. It's a three piece suite. You've got the toilet sink and the shower fully tiled again. Um, in this beautiful marble effect ceramic tile, heated tower rail again. And then you've got storage, bonus storage. So you could turn this into a closet if you want. And it uses the space under the eaves door. And then <laughs> it's funny, you can actually see what this is being used. It's got Christmas decorations and then furniture. It's just such a good space. It goes all the way that way and all the way that way. And you've got a light in there already. And I always say, ask developers to put lights in stores because it makes it so practical and nobody wants to go into a dark space. Anyway, so this is another area. You could even have put a chair here, a TV in the corner, but let us go into the main feature of this floor, which is this kind of bonus, very, very large bedroom with beautiful head heights. You do not feel like you're in the leftover space of a roof. You feel like you're on a second floor, again, with the oversized furniture. So when a human stands next to a lamp and the lamp is almost as tall as that person, you know this space is gonna be very big. No matter what the camera looks like, this is a very spacious room. You've got so many opportunities to create a moment here. An armchair there, could be a dressing area, dressing nook. You've got open, opening lights here, roof lights here. And I like the two panes there. And obviously they come with blackout blinds, which is great. And then you've got space here for fitted wardrobes, should you choose to upgrade to them. 
and then you've got to this side a little desk area like i said it could be more storage for clothes and then you've got a window a dormer window face in the front as well and yeah did i mention the bed is actually large as well um so thank you so much for coming on this tour the energy and the vibe that I'm having right now is obviously really high and that's matching what I've seen so far. Did you spot anything that we missed? If so, leave it in the comments below. But most of all, subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. Thank you. Bye.